So, hello, this is Jan again, and I just run the pipeline over uh, a French NFI plot, like, um, and I will show you what you can do with other software when we export it, like we saw in the last tutorial. So, um, in general, I... Uh, saved everything to here um, the cloud name I should get rid of the XYB but here a subfolder is produced get familiar with it and here you have a lot of uh, um, uh, various stuff so uh, this is the DTM I uh, Extracted Ah We can see a little bit structure right Did I Okay, yeah, well That's what we have um, then we go into alum and select all the good trees to get a visual inspection of the plot. It takes a while to load. Uh, this is the same like uh, and in the same naming like the uh, detailed files this information here so yeah what I want to do still is select all I make it more 3D. You can do this under edit, normals, and then compute. I hope it doesn't crash. I don't like when the mouse cursor turns. So, okay. Those are in red. Um, yeah, you can check. And now I want to select one of the big trees. Um, I think it might be one of the first. So, Ah, okay. Here we have the file name. It's number four. So when I go back and I open one more time, this is a tree. Nice. So here should be a segmentation error from the visual inspection and what as we have already also selected the segmented cloud we can do uh, a check. Um, this program is cloud compare you should know it I didn't say I think you can just download it and so yeah we got quite a nice tree model. Um, there is ah yeah and here ah, is this segmentation error or is this just occluded um, this is segmentation error so this is segmentation error um, overall pretty decent tree model and you can go to uh, map 
Studio, Google this. Here you find a nice, um, it's a lab which analyzes tree architecture. And this is, um, well, I'm not that much into it. Uh, excuse me if I tell wrong. But, um, well, uh, those what you see here is uh, computational plants from like measured branch angles and everything. And they also have a software for laser scanning. Scan is this called. You can see here. Um, well, uh, it is also meant to improve my simple tree output. Uh, they have tutorials somewhere, scan tutorial, and yeah, you can uh, see what you can do. So you start with um, mm, importing a scan, this is a point cloud, and then you can go to um, also import my plugin and I show you. Um, detailed number four. Edit with note. No. Ah, sorry. Um, I already installed the software. You start scan. Here is the authors. You saw the names. Uh, nice people. And import structure. Import CSV from Simple Tree. And we were at tree number four. Oh, okay. It loads a lot. I know I have a little bit problems with. the sensitivity uh, so this what we see here um, is the same tree like we see here this is the error uh, look here where my mouse is and look is it right yeah well this branch might be this one I guess so it's just a skeleton representation with uh, with uh, diameters, and from what I can tell, uh, those people are already so good uh, to see that um, the uh, cylinders stacked with a tractor have no good diameters, and you can also um, in the software, but this is described. Oops, yeah, that is what I said with mouse sensitivity. Somehow uh, correct the model. So add an edge, remove, prune, remove. I don't know. I never tried this out. Um, I want to get rid of this. Well, somehow you should select, maybe. Yeah. And now, where was remove? Can I do? No? I don't know. You need to... Uh, they have tutorials and everything. And I guess... Yeah. I guess you find out. So... Uh, I close this one. I also close this one. Ah, and this is of course the same tree like we saw in the plot here. And then what you can also do is with R software. Um, um, simple tree. Uh, I just show you all. This is my old PhD homepage. And here you find the section statistics and allometry. And you find here a lot of R scripts. 
um, you can uh, learn from those scripts still the output is not the same anymore so you cannot just run uh, uh, such a script um, but yeah um, I made some this is uh, my old uh, YouTube channel and from my PhD and yeah um, I explain a lot and so one more thing um, data documents no the if we go to well this is uh, a you can get here nicer colors for screenshots for publication so the stem ah okay it's not that correct uh, it get lost here and well until here it's okay stem in brown branches in green you can make it nicer remember normals compute if you write a thesis or if you are aiming for a publication this looks nicer right the uh, natural green and the natural brown so this is one little trick and I wanted to show you also ply I think this one found a little bit of traction so you see there is still a lot of errors contained in this model why can't I ah and but this is good measurements apparently my program finds out uh, oh not everything is good this is not good still but you could interpolate between those uh, values I mean like the wrong cylinders are removed and just uh, work with this less chaotic cylinders uh, in in you find the description on uh, the um, computer platform in the forum how to do it and that's it have a lot of fun um bye bye